Libra. It's Elle here to do your July 2018 reading. I've already pulled the cards. Yes, I have shuffled and prayed off camera. Thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. Okay. Go ahead, continue to do so. All of my information on where you how and where you can reach me is below. For some of you, Libra, you're having some really good energy. A windfall, a victory in something. Some of you don't know if you want to take to maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios, their advances. If you don't want to get, some of you don't, you're not going to give them a second chance or, or you're really contemplating it. Yeah, because um, it's been problems in the past. This is a person you already know. Yeah, definitely a long-standing relationship, either a current marriage or past long-standing relationship. You guys are in communication, but it's um, it's it, you, the ball is in your court, Libra. Some of you dealing with fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You had something established with them or you're trying to establish something with them they're just so different from you so sometimes too one-dimensional for some of you Libras out there some of you dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus Capricorn in particular you may be trying to weigh up if you're going to stay in this situation. You kind of don't see a way out. This Capricorn has you tied up financially and or they take care of you. You're taking a break from something or someone or you want to. I'm trying to find your happy place again. So that's where we are with that intuitively. Okay, so we've got love, uh, past, present, future, career and finance, additional messages of support. Okay, and I'm back. All right, so the bottom of the deck for love, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Immediately what I heard was some of you really just trying to focus on yourself trying to focus on your money trying to focus on um, building yourself up focus on school or learning a new skill or craft love is to the back burner in a sense for some of you all right in the past we have the king of wands the king of pentacles yeah they came out um the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So in the past, we got two kings here. And then we had the, like I said, some some of you are weighing up a decision between maybe a fire sign or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or just the opportunity or to just become single again. You know you have to make changes here and cut something or someone out. Or you may even feel shut out of a situation. Presently, we're at the Seven of Swords, the P Prince of Pentacles, and Two of Swords. Yeah. Decision. This is Sun and Libra. So this is you. You know you need to make a decision. You're all up in your head about it. Your heart and your mind are not aligned. So there sits confusion. So you aren't making the decision. There's an offer, a stable one here. A long, a long time coming with this offer, Prince of Pentacles. You're trying to really figure this out for yourself in love. Do I go this way or do I go that way? Some of you are trying to devise a plan of action or put something in action. Some of you, like I hear, some of you even weighing the pros and cons about a certain situation or a certain two people.
future the high priestess five of sword king of cups now we have most times this comes up as a libra for me so i really feel like this is you libra king of cups you could be dealing with the water sign um In the past, you might have been dealing with someone who was all about their wants, what they wanted in a situation. They are financially stable and set, so you don't want for anything as in, in terms of monetary or finances. But they may have been parading around like they were single, acting as if they were single. Because they felt like they had you in the bag. Like, okay, I take care of you. I do everything. And I think that's why you guys are, a lot of you are focused on just really trying to build yourself up monetarily and perfecting your craft, whatever that may be for yourself. Trying to devise a plan of action because you know that There's an offer here. It's been a long time coming. Some of you been engaged for a long time. But you don't even know if you want to marry this person. Then that's the two of swords or something. That just came up. It looks like you're going to get some truth and clarity. Maybe by going to a high priestess. That could be a pastor. A tarot card reader. Psychic. Anybody who you feel like you can trust and get um, a level of clarity about your situation from uh, because there's a lot of indecision there's a there's interference within a situation you feel like you need to stand your ground because someone is is sneaking maybe possibly sneaking around acting single this could be you Libra this could be someone else Cancer Pisces Scorpio Some of you aren't taking to advances from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You just don't want it anymore. Some of you are dealing with an air, another air sign who is not coming up in the greatest light. They're doing their own thing. They're trying to devise a plan of action within the midst of this love relationship. Some of you deal with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus who is monetarily set who who provides you a lot of stability but they also there's no uh exclusivity with this person which makes you feel shut out and or you shut this capricorn virgo taurus out however in the future you get clarity you get some mental clarity some download about this situation and how things need to change they change by way of you standing up for yourself for some of you it changes you might need to be a little bit compassionate more open more open okay career and finance six of cups some of you are having thoughts of the past. It's been very good for you. Um, it was good in the past. In career and finance, it was happier times. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the Death card, the Wheel of Fortune. It looks like some of you just want to hold on to your status monetarily, wherever you are in career and finance. Um, some of you feel like you did a lot of work and got a whole bunch of nothing out of a situation. So you're going to put a, an end to it, a stop to it, a death to it. Just kind of let things flow as they will. Let it go. Let it go as it will. Some of you can be dealing with, a, like I said, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. cancer some of you are really trying to build yourself back up to 
uh, where you were in the past monetarily or in your career. Some of you are in school, you're trying to focus on that, F focus on maintaining a good standing in school and or, or courses that, you know, give you more uh, skill, give you more of a uh, skill set. You're trying to focus on that. You're pretty much allowing whatever is to happen, you're letting it happen. The bottom of the deck for the supportive messages, family changes. So this can institute anything. I think a lot of you are contemplating walking away from something that no longer monetarily serves you or emotionally serves you. We don't have a, any cups here. A lot of you are concerned with career, finance, money. Some of you are going to make some changes within your family. Some of you have family business or do business with family members. Um, it's just going to be some family changes in that arena. End of an era. We see that with the Wheel of Fortune. You're just kind of letting it in. It's the end of an era for you. Like I said, some of you have been engaged for a really long time. You're really contemplating, do I even want to get married to this person? The cards say it's the end of an era. Some of you deal with the Scorpio who, who you just you don't know if you want to take advances with. You don't want to take their advances because it's been in and out. It's been turbulent. It's been up and down. It's been forceful in the past sobriety some of you need to maintain focus on sobriety for yourself or those around you sobriety of course talks about chemical um, intoxication uh, whether that's uh, so, you know chemical and substance intoxication but sometimes sobriety is also about sobriety of the mind what are you feeding your mind what are you um, what are you looking at what are you listening to who are you listening to uh, clear declutter your mind and you'll probably be able to make this decision here okay take the next step now yeah whatever that looks like for you take the next step now um, after you gain clarity about a decision that you need to make uh, heavenly signs the high priestess definitely spiritual downloads will happen some of you are grieving an actual death and really throwing yourself into work and career and not trying to actually grieve here because there there's family changes and death so um, my condolences to those who are actually grieving um, an actual loss of life uh, Libra if this resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated um, thank you once again for tuning in remember to stay in prayer I'm praying for you Comment below. I'm going to do a raffle. I'm going to choose two random commenters and give a five-minute free reading to uh, that raffle. The winners of the raffle will be announced July 7th. So go ahead and comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks again. Take care.